Construction News Tracker is presented by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. ARCPA, the American Road and Transportation Builders Association, is coming down hard in the Congress for its latest House version of tax reform. President Pete Rowan says the House dropped the ball in this latest version of tax reform by not addressing the oncoming insolvency of the Highway Trust Fund. Rowan calls it a revenue problem and not a policy problem and notes that in June, 253 members of Congress signed a letter to the House Ways and Means Committee urging a permanent trust fund solution. Without it, 40% of state transportation departments will face a shortfall by 2021. Rowan also pointed out that House Tax Reform Trust Fund inaction could tank President Trump's plans for massive infrastructure spending. In a November 17th request to Congress for another $44 billion in disaster relief funds, the White House, in little detail, proposed stripping a billion from normally federally aided trust funds, added to earlier federal disaster aid requests of nearly $100 billion. It has asked for $59 billion in budget cuts across federal agencies to pay for the emergency reconstruction costs thus taking back a billion in prior year contract authority that state DOTs have not yet obligated. Models in Caterpillar's overhauled excavator platform claiming up to 45% better efficiency and 15% lower maintenance costs will come with CAT 2D grade, CAT grade and with assist and CAT payload technologies as standard equipment. Asked how the manufacturer will help contractors get the most from these technologies, Caterpillar Construction Industries Group President Bob Delange told FCP editor Larry Stewart. I think the key there is, is uh, number one, we've, as you said, we've standardized on a number of those technologies mm -hmm. um, just to make sure that everybody has the opportunity um, to try them. Um, I think the second most critical part is just make sure it is simple. Uh, we mm -hmm. do not want to bring machines that our customers need to hire rocket scientists, if I may, uh, to, to operate our equipment. I think it all comes down to make it simple, intuitive. I mean, our goal is not technology for technology's sake. We do not introduce digital capabilities just so that we are a modern or advanced company. No, our goal is to help our customers be more successful. That is the reason why we bring technology. And we fully understand that, I mean, it's not about the fashion or the or the flashbang for an introduction. Mm -hmm. We gotta make sure it's simple and easy to use so that every operator is comfortable um, utilizing it every day and it's intuitive um, so you don't need a lot of explanation uh, to make sure that you utilize it in such a way that it helps you be more productive. The massive proposed $3 billion Foxconn plant in southern Wisconsin is a go. Governor Scott Walker and state representatives joined with company officials for the official state bill signing that will bring a massive high-tech facility to Racine County, not far from the Illinois border. What it will also bring is a major reconstruction to Interstate Highway 94 from the Illinois line to Milwaukee to accommodate thousands of prospective new employees and services to the complex. $252 billion of that $3 billion uh, incentive program is earmarked for highway construction as the intent is to widen I-94 from six lanes to eight lanes and add interchanges. Walker says he wishes to import lots of skilled construction workers to the area to help build Foxconn and the needed infrastructure. The Architecture Billings Index, a barometer of future construction spending with a 9 to 12 month lead time, has bounced back in October from earlier estimates for design services. October came in at 51.7 in the American Institute of Architects Billing Index after falling short in September at 49.1 and August at 53.7. Both the commercial and industrial sectors were lower last month, as was the multifamily segment. However, new design contracts remained relatively stable. It took less than a minute for the 71,000 seat Georgia Dome in downtown Atlanta to be obliterated. 5,000 pounds of explosives were used in the demolition of the 25 year old fame facility as they were set off in a spiral around the stadium, which then collapsed. The Georgia Dome has been replaced by the Mercedes-Benz Dome adjacent to it and the home of the Atlanta Falcons NFL team, separated by only 30 feet. 
Contractors erected a five-story tall industrial strength curtain between the two buildings to eliminate any concussion effects from the blast. In closing, one thing you can't recycle is wasted time. This is Construction News Tracker looking over the industry that makes the world a better place. Presented by Caterpillar and produced by 4ConstructionPros. Follow us on social media at Twitter using hashtag Construction News, YouTube at 4ConstructionPros, and on Facebook at forward slash 4ConstructionPros. As the streaming web never ends.